Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. We just got dropped off in the World of Light by the Godbird, so uh, we have some stuff to pick up on this island that we didn't get when we first went to Empachu. We kind of rushed through the plot line. So, uh, there's two treasure chests. Two treasure chests I would like to get uh, before um, we go testing out our new powers. So, we'll be doing that. And there's a magical mace. That actually, um, well, I think it can be used later to make something called a magical skirt. That I don't, it doesn't change Jessica's appearance. Um, I don't know if it's a better, if it's some sort of, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just know you can make it. it. It uses, like, magical hat and magical arm and something. It's just weird. So, the other is there's a mini metal uh, somewhere around this town in a treasure chest. I'm not exactly sure where, but I know it's right around the town. So, this is the third um, slime in the Ultra Slime Team slime thing. This is the slime designer. He will not be hard to kill. See? All right. And he, a gold monster coin. Uh, I believe he's a legendary. Yeah, he's Tori. So, like, there are these monsters that are legends. Like, there's a legendary Draki. And no, he is the legendary robot. We can get him now. Uh, and there's a that, that big heel slime we have is one of the legends. And you can combine them and make a team out of them. Called the Legends. None of them are very impressive monsters, except for the robot. The robot's really pretty cool. Okay. So, we just got to get up here, and we'll have it. All right. And I already told you what it is. So... And now there are a lot of places that are accessible that weren't accessible to us before. So that's really cool. I mean, there are, like, there are hidden areas. It actually opens up a lot of the monster. Like, if you haven't defeated Monster Team Rank S by now, uh, this is the time. Like, because now you have access to all these great monster teams. <laughs> so we made a scholar's cap. So what we want to do with this thing is we want to pop it back in the alchemy pot with a, a magic vestment, which we should have because we found one somewhere, didn't we? Yeah. So. And then the thing that pops out of this we'll have to combine with nook grass, which we haven't been able to get yet. And uh, uh, magic water. And it'll make something called the crimson robe. So, let's use this thing. The soul speaks to us. What? Can you hear me? The controls for my bird form differ from those used... Wait. Okay. So, okay. Well, the, actually, that's kind of nice. They just say, like, hey, if you need help, press this button. Basically, you fly around. Um, if you push... It has... Like, reverse aviation controls, so, like, up goes down and down goes up. Uh, and, uh, that's kind of all you need to know. Uh, oh, wait, no. Actually, the shadow on the ground changes when you can land. Um, and if you hit X, you do a barrel roll. I'm not kidding. And, I mean, obviously, you can see, and you speed up. If you hold X, you go faster. So, if you want to see, um, uh... Uh, what was I? But I mean, this is cool because, like, you can actually, from the plotline, kind of track. Like, this is the road to Alexandria. There's the tower. There's the town. And, like, now you watch the shadow on the ground, and when you can land, it changes. See? It changes to that. And we want to land on top of this thing. Because this is a thing that we can land on top of. And there's no other way up here. Any day. 
any day now. Alright. It puts us by pots. I wonder what we should do with them. Hey, a mini metal. And a Yggdrasil leaf. Okay, let's see what the areas accessible only by air have uh, for monsters. I mean, we've seen these monsters before. They actually tend to be at about the same level as the stuff when we got to Empachu. So. Which is good. They just don't drop crazy monster bombs on you. Like, suddenly you can fly and, like, the monsters jump up 20 levels or something. Although we'd figure out something. We'd find a way to do I guess we'd just keep doing the plot line, really. Bam! Oh, that hit Jessica hard. Eh, not really. She's, she's alright. Alright. There we go. Got them both at once. Oh, hey, Jessica, got a level up. Awesome. Seven skill points. Get sexier. Oh. There's a way over to another section of this. Yeah, this is not all that's... Yeah, we can get over there. Oh, there's a bridge. Jeez, I'm a genius. Yay, bridge. Not the card game. The physical thing, like a br yay Brit. Oh, whatever. It's not a good joke. I I, I don't know. Anyway, all right, a B. That Elysium bird over there can't resist anything shiny. She buries everything she collects in the sand. That's a big hint, by the way. All right. Now. Bah, human used to live here before. A human so pure and good that even we monsters took a shine to him. You're the first humans I've seen here since his death. Alright, so if you run around here and hit X, eventually you'll find a mini metal. Oh, hey, level up! What do we get? What do we get? Just oh, with skill points, it's the same thing we always get. Well, in two more levels, we'll be able to max out courage. That's pretty cool. I learned metal slash. Awesome. Okay, come on, mini metal. Come on, mini metal. Go away, hiccups. Come on, mini metal. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, jeez, really? This is rough. This is r I know it's it's around here somewhere. I know it is. Oh, come on. Ugh. All right. Good. There we go. Okay, awesome. Uh, so there we go. And the only other thing you can do here is there's like a big chunk of plot line written on the wall. So uh, we'll read it. My name is Aegeus. There was once a time when people would call me the child of the goddess. Oh yeah? But I have come to realize that I am a mere human child, weak and delicate like any other. After the Lord of Darkness was sealed away, I sacrificed my life that others might live. Here I record my final prophecy. I pray that it will be seen by the eyes of the righteous. As I gaze into the future, I foresee a period of darkness, a time that is shrouded in mist, a time when the Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn, may once again terrorize the world. But we should not lose heart, for our bloodlines will still live on. When the time comes, there will be a living heir for each of us. Yeah, well, the heir of the great warrior Golding will be living with his two adopted children, surrounded by the voices of joyous people. The heir of the sorcerer Master Gozo will be carrying on the tradition, teaching magic in a town near the castle where the scepter is sealed away. The heir of the great magician Kupus will be living with monsters deep in the forest, having abandoned his life of magic. 
The bloodlines of the magical swordsman Alexander will be transferred to another family, and his heir will be renowned across the land. The heir of the great scholar Caden will be living an honest life deep in the snowy mountains, preserving the legend of the god bird. The heir of Ragnar, who returned to the world of men from heaven, will be the keeper of the faith for countless souls. And finally, my own heir will be living a contented life as the leader of a group of many monks. As long as at least one of them is alive, this world shall be safe for all eternity. As such as is the imperative that our lives are protected, lest the Lord of Darkness ever return to dis extinguish the light of this world. It is the only way I pray to the goddess that our children will abide by these words. So, that's a thing. That's a deal. And you can identify all of those um, pretty easily by the plot line. So, there you go. Um, well, it's turning into night, so let's go somewhere and crash for a while, huh? It only makes sense. Now you need to take a nap, huh? There's a fake yawn for you. Alright, and I'm pretty sure Medea's gonna say something, because, like, we've had major plot changes since the last time we slept, so. I can't get over it. Flying through the air is so wonderful. Aww. Oh, that's you know, sweet. I always dreamt of becoming a bird when I was little. Yeah, because, like, when she's a horse and she turns into a bird, she's... This was before you came to the castle. Oh. You had a life when before you met me? study every day. I didn't have anyone to play with. That's probably why I dreamt of having wings. I'd be able to fly away whenever I wanted. Even with the curse, being able to turn into a bird and fly through the sky is like a dream come true. I bet. Do you think we might turn into a fish next? <laughs> like Sword I in the Stone? Not. I hate the ocean. Why? Because I'd sink like a stone. I can't swim. I see, my mother can't swim, and so, like, all of her kids, we all had to take, like, swimming lessons until we were, like, excellent swimmers. Like, I could probably swim while I'm sleeping. So. Alright, we're gonna save our game, uh, and, uh, come back and do more stuff. Okay. Uh, I wanna check Marta's cottage again. Uh, to see if we can get nook grass there yet. Because we're going to need it soon. Alright, I couldn't even, like, there wasn't anybody at, like, the cave in Marta's college or whatever. Or cottage. So I'm guessing that Merrick is here. Um, I don't really have good evidence to back that up. I just can't think of anywhere else he would be. So. Oh, wait a minute. I, like, I'm not exactly sure which one is his room. Well, it's, it's not this. No, it's over up here around the corner. It's weird, because, like, I, I think about this place from the other stairway... So, like, coming down the now open stairway. It's a little bit. Yeah, here he is. Have you come to tell me you've defeated the evil black dog that killed my mother? I don't know. Well, this is a shame, but I'm sure you will find it soon and avenge my mother's death. Yes, of course we will. I need a drink. My throat is getting scratchy. <laughs> Aha! There. So that dog still says gov gov. Which, again, is just so not... Wolf, wolf, bark, bark. I remember that in, like, when like when I was taking French classes and stuff. That, like, the noises animals made were different. And I was like, really? Like, I guess, though, that, like, you interpret those things through your language, so... Cause I mean, a dog's bark doesn't really sound like the word bark. All right. Anyway, so now 
Uh, since we're up here in Snow World, we're going to talk about an area. A lot of people really love this area. Um, we're going to talk about kind of an alternative to it and things like that at some point. Uh, way later, way, way, way later. But there's this hill here. And all you'll hit on this hill... It, oh, man, we missed it. I'm, I'm an idiot. I pushed the wrong button. Anyway, uh, all you hit on this hill is slimes. Like, it's filled with slimes. It's not a bad place to hit, uh, like, liquid metal king slimes or whatever. Or king liquid metal. Um, yeah, liquid... I don't, whatever. The slimes that are worth 30,000 experience that we defeated in the dragon graveyard. A lot of people are really... Uh, I, I've been um, talking to... Uh, uh, Realm Eternal about uh, about the Dragon Graveyard as an alternative to grinding for experience here. Because I usually grind for experience here. Um, they're saying that uh, uh, that's not... that the Dragon Graveyard is better. For a good amount of reasons. So, um... But anyway, so this is why we got the Falcon Blades. Uh, because if we use it in conjunction with Metal Slash, sometimes it'll take out these Metal Slimes in one hit. And it's just the best way to kill them. So, Jessica will clear out all the she slimes obviously which and see it did three there and they have four hit points so but Angelo did it Angelo took one out so and these guys are worth like a thousand experience a piece so it's not a bad deal later we'll have a slightly different strategy for killing the bigger ones but we're a ways away from that yet not a huge ways away but a ways away I really want to get all of these areas we could never get to. I really want to get those out of the way. Like, just plow through them all. That was not good, Angelo. That was not good at all. It was a sad showing on your part. Uh, well, we still got a couple left. We could still get some decent experience. But the, real, but the problem with this place is, like, when you're not hitting really cool, super, like, experienced slimes, you're hitting crappy battles that do you no good. And there we go, 4,000 experience. That's pretty good, if I do say so. So there's a treasure chest here, and we'll get that, and then we'll probably shut off the video. So, all right, what do we got? Oh, a King Cure Slime. There'll be all kinds of stuff like this. Like I said, regular slimes, metal slimes, liquid metal slimes, liquid metal king slimes, King Cure Slimes, Cure Slimes. It's ridiculous. All right. Ha, we stopped him from curing. Now he's just a King Slime. All right. So that's about it. Unless something spectacular happens, I don't plan on showing any more battles on here. I mean, they'll all be slimes. Later, that'll change a little for reasons we'll get into later, but for right now, you can come here if you need to fight slimes for some reason. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to head to kind of the lowest point in this area, which involves finding these... Finding these uh, tunnels and uh, crossing through them and stuff, so... I think this might be it. I think this might be kind of the lowest point. Yeah, and then there'll be like a series of caves. So no big deal. Alright, and there's our chest. 
so uh a conqueror's axe and again I don't think it's uh, we don't have the kind of axe skills that would make this a better weapon than the one we have for Yengus so uh it's kind of disappointing 